up guys, welcome back to the Netherlands for the second day of the UAC where the teams will be battling it out to earn their spot on the leaderboards. Once again, the teams will not only compete for their overall ranking, but they'll also earn points based on their personal performance. Today, we're starting off with an individual game called 360. The player is dropped in the middle of a set of targets and he has to score as many hits as possible before the timer runs out. Next up, the players are tested on their physical performance in bootcamp. The players have to follow an obstacle course which includes target shooting, push-ups, crawling and tire sprint to set their fastest time possible. The fastest time was set by Stefan van der Veen. Congratulations! Welcome to Rush. In this game mode, the teams are looking to gain as much ground as possible as the rooms are marked with numbers representing points to earn. And at the 10 minute mark, the bell will sound and every player in every room's points will be added up to give the final score. The most intense game was played between Saviors and Airsoft figuren. The latter team was playing extremely aggressive and risky to bulldozer the way forward. I like how they're playing, they're playing really aggressively, really trying to get their map control down here on the right. And he goes down, unfortunately. Saviors now moving into the room. They know they have to get their ground because every room is marked with a number. Goes. <laughs> 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 Spectator drone goes down, but he's back up. You can really see the difference between these two teams and their playstyle. Sabres is playing very passively. Aerosol is moving into the middle of the map, going really aggressively. I like their play, they're moving up, they're getting those points. There it goes, that was the bell. Now we're gonna go for the points. Airsoft Figure definitely taking a commanding lead with their aggressive playstyle, earning their spot on the leaderboard with a win. So Airsoft Figure, you guys played really aggressively trying to get that map control down, as was really apparent. What do you think about the game? Uh, it was a tough game because the other guys were really good at defending the, the room. Yeah. But this part of the of the map is really a, a choke point for everyone. Right. There were only two ways to get through, so it's really hard. To, yeah. The only way is just to push. Yeah. But you, you guys really took advantage of that. So yeah. yeah. Really good job. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's go to the next round. Next up is the game mode Counter-Strike, terrorist versus counter-terrorist. The terrorists have to plant the bomb and the CTs have to prevent that from happening. Players will only have one life per round. We're going straight to the final between Mug and Los Caballeros. The final will be played in only two rounds with a switch in sides in between. Whoever scores the most points wins. After taking the lead in round one, Mug is definitely looking to establish map control straight from the start. Unfortunately, one of the mug guys gets taken out on the top floor here. Both get taken out, they've lost the top floor. Even though mug has lost two players, they're still applying pressure to that top floor. And that's the end of the game, it seems like Mug has lost all their players, Caballeros, successful in defending their B side. Los Caballeros ties up the second round with a win, but unfortunately for them, Mug managed to score the most points overall, and they're able to take day two. Mug is gaining more and more of a substantial lead over every other team, as they're now the victors of day one and day two. What do you guys think is the key to winning? Because you guys have already won twice. 
day one and day two. What's the key? Fun. Have fun and yeah. have a, it's good team playing. So everybody knows each other very well and how we play. And I think that's the, that's the key to uh, be, a, be a winner, I guess.